So in week nine, we did not have ourselves a great game. Sam Howell was killing us out of the gate and then somehow just completely threw it all away which led to us winning the game 38-28. to 28. We really had a, no business being in that game, let alone winning this thing. As you look at the numbers, it's just not even close, right? One touchdown, 173 yards, a completion percentage of 50. 50% rushing was okay in fairness. Uh, but uh, yeah, the pass game was not on for us. But we got a lot of help from Sam Howell, who threw four interceptions, two of which were to Weatherford, one of which was pick sixth. It was a long pick six, barely outrunning guys like Waddle even. But in week 10, going against the Oakland Tigers, maybe we'll have a breakout for Weatherford. And the answer is no. I think he just won player of the week too. And they just said, nah, not good enough. Two picks, a touchdown, and six tackles for the outside linebacker, who is super low overall with normal dev. Didn't get the dev up, unfortunately. But a player of the week is still a win of some sort, kind of. Of course, we're going to be playing in Oakland for this one, but this is what the team looks like. We are kind of healthy. Of course, uh, Bajan is still hurt, but got to be honest, Hooker's got a good chance to hold that job. Obviously, didn't play well, but his upside is definitely a bit higher than Bajan's. We also paid Hooker. I can't remember what the contract was, but he will be here no matter what, if, whether it's starter or backup capacity. Uh, for the future, which is nice to have some sort of stability there. Looking at the defense, you know, Cam Jones is a star dev. Would have loved to see Weatherford this week get a chance to replicate that, but unfortunately it did not happen, obviously. We've had some ups and some downs. I'm, I'm a little surprised that we've actually scored as many points as we have this season, but at the same time, it seems like the other teams are kind of selling more than we're earning it. Of course, their overall, 86 overall, Versus our E67 overall. It's a bit of a drop off. Of course, let's take a look at the injuries. See if the Tigers have any. And then, uh, obviously, we have uh, our guard and Bajan still out. But take a look at their roster afterwards. And head on in to this game where they're low uh, record somehow. Yet, they seem to be a good team. We'll see how uh, exactly good they are now in a second. And their quarterback is Matthew Stafford, obviously, for this season. Going to be really good. You know, accuracy is pretty damn good. Throw power is great. Uh, Najee Harris is the running back, not the fastest guy in the world, but very good power moves, decent trucking, or uh, juking, and then Charbonnet, kind of the same situation going on as the backup. A lot of same types, right? A lot of power backs on this squad. Then we look at wide receiver, which has Justin Jefferson, basically the best wide receiver in the league. Number two, I mean, there's a potential there with Donovan Peoples-Jones. He's young with, I think he might be normal dev now, but either way, he's still got potential. And then the rest, maybe Thornton at number three makes more sense hence because he's faster but uh, in general they have like all 6'2 they have one guy that's 6'1 which is Justin Jefferson and the rest are literally all 6'2 tight end Kate Otten he's a big dude but not the most athletic left tackle Taron Armstead very good left tackle Leal Collins he's an okay left guard Britt not the best center Tevin Jenkins at right guard is pretty good and then Lane Johnson's amazing at right tackle a little bit of an older line but still a very talented one left end Ogba not the best right end Grady Jarrett on the other side, just like their O-line, but very good at block shedding. DT's, not it. Uh, you know, Highsmith, really good. Middle linebacker, really good, but old. Barton, pretty damn good. I would probably start N'Kobe Dean. Also, since when is N'Kobe Dean only 87 speed? That seems so low. Willie Gay, very fast, obviously. Denzel Ward, amazing cornerback. Adoree Jackson's not bad. William Jackson's not bad. Greedy Williams, not bad. But it's really just a one-man cornerback situation for the future. Free safety, Geno Stone. Slow, but very good zone coverage. And then strong safety, Rayshon Jenkins. They need an upgrade, but they kind of do have an upgrade. They just need Mapu to actually start. And of course, as always, if you want to see another episode tomorrow, 200 likes will do that. I think if we get to the playoffs, I guess I don't know why I'm even saying that. We're definitely not going to make the playoffs. But I think uh, the, the like goal definitely for next season is going to go higher if we continue the streak all the way to the uh, the playoffs you know area and I probably won't do a like goal for the actual off season because it takes a little bit of time to actually you know go through all that but uh, as of right now the plan is you know 200 likes each episode I'll do another episode the next day uh, until the season's over which obviously we're about halfway through so keep it coming and uh, I'll keep it coming disgusting also maybe subscribe if you're new those are the things. Uh, am I going to do a Spider-Man 2 episode later today on the second channel, PK Plays, that maybe you should subscribe to? Maybe. We'll see. Anyways, let's get into this strategy. 
obviously, uh, they got a decent running back. They got a pretty good passing group, but they kind of just suck at everything. If I were to guess, medium is where we're going to defend against. They're number two in pass defense. Uh, we've been a pretty good run team, so I think we keep it on the ground, and then we, uh, we do our training, obviously. And I don't know why, but I was feeling it. Zach Koontz is star development traits. And oh my lord, there are some upgrades. Um, quick edits, I suppose. You're going to see just the upgrades themselves. Weatherford, run stopper. Uh, I mean, I suppose he kind of needs everything, but run stopper does kind of seem like the poor man's field general, which didn't really happen in this one, but that's the way I feel about it. Ronnie Bell, I think the big issue with this team is the release. Route running obviously matters a lot, but getting off the line. We've seen that one play where it was like third and long, and we had three players on the right side of the field completely locked up, pressed at the line, couldn't even get past that five yards to initiate the P.I. call or the hold call, if you will. Uh, Tyler Beatty uh, receiving uh, is – oh, nice speed upgrade. Receiving is kind of his, like – Big thing for us, but he's all right in between the tackles. Why not? Uh, Turk, the YouTuber. Oh, my God, the mutant, actually. What am I talking about? One accuracy. Yeah, I mean, he's all right. I feel like his kick power could do a little bit more, but he's all right. Koontz, the star dev player. I kind of wanted to earn this dev, though, but you know what? The fact that he hasn't got a breakout yet, it kind of feels like maybe it was already earned, as he is now, of course, star dev. From the weekly training, Lucky Dev Up. Uh, is there anything else that really matters? Nabbers, DeVito, Clifford, those are all backups. Uh, they're all backups, so I'll uh, do Smoke Monday since he is the uh, starter, and the rest will forget about it. And we'll just head right on into uh, this matchup against the Tigers. I guess this is significant just because you never know what the quarterback situation is going to look like in the future. But one in mid, two to throw short, one on the run, one awareness, and then, of course, a throw power for the very weak Sean Clifford. Here we go for this matchup against the Oakland Tigers, a team that is uh, kind of underperforming. They're not really built for the future. They're built a little bit more for now. Uh, guys like Demario Davis, their left tackle, their right tackle, their quarterback, uh, their D-end. You know, they got a lot of guys that are going to be either retired or really regressed going into the next season. And uh, they are one of the better right now teams going. And, I mean, I feel like they're squandering an opportunity, whereas we are obviously kind of outperforming expectations and developing some youthful players. You know, how many of the players going in did we see as long-term options? Maybe none of them. But now there's at least three to five. That's, that's a starting point. Three to five for the future where I'm like, okay, these guys are going to be you know, good to go for the future. And there might even be more than that, and I'm just not really thinking. Like, Rodriguez, probably Koontz, right? You just got the star dev. Probably Hooker. Uh, you know, looking at the defense, uh, you obviously have Cam Jones. That's four. Riley Moss is five. And then uh, maybe five is good. That's a good number. Maybe we just stop talking after that. Uh, obviously, some other names like Weatherford, who I really like. Orgy's doing pretty well. But, uh, you know, we don't know how the offseason's going to pan out, who's going to be available, and... What kind of draft we're going to have, or what draft pick we're going to have, let alone that. I mean, at this point, we're, we got to play to win. You know, got to get the fans up. Got to get more people watching the Anchorage Bisons. But also, you know, at some point, if we're we're out of the race, it does make a little bit more sense to lose. But obviously, looking at Stafford's numbers, you can see why they're losing, as he is not having a good year at all. I mean, even our guys are having about that of a season, and... We have guys that have more of a reason to not be playing that well, whereas Stafford, what's really the excuse? He has a number one wide receiver, not even number like a number one, the number one. Look at that sidearm. That was kind of sick, though. He has the number one wide receiver. 20 yards out the gate, though, on that little sidearm whip, which is kind of filthy, to be fair. That zig also on that left side of the field. I don't know who ran that, but that thing was filthy as well. might have been Justin Jefferson, so you can have. We have the tight end, and quick throw again. This time on the slant to Peoples-Jones, 11 yards, about as easy as it gets. That throw angle's kind of filthy, though. I mean, I, I don't know how you stop that. That thing is kind of filthy. It's going to be another quick throw. Peoples-Jones for another 11. I guess we're going to try to run press man. As I'm not sure how else you stop this if you're not up on the line pressing them. But at the same time, that opens up a potential streak route from, like, Justin Jefferson or something. 
And they're going to run the ball. We kind of gave up the lane, but he gains four. Could have been worse. Last week, not great for Najee, but it's a brand new week. You're going against the Bisons. Pick your head up, son. Don't think he's a child. He's kind of a strong dude. Oh, I thought it was a run. Dropping back. We're a little late. He's going to try to go for that and somehow dropped by Peebles Jones. I believe he does have the drops open pass trait because Smoke Monday really wasn't in position for that ball. Of course, going to go some press man because we've been really bad with the quick throw, which has led to some yards, and that is just too easy. Justin Jefferson made that look way too easy. He gets that down to the 12 on the conversion. Of course, we are probably going to have, like, no success. Oh, there he goes over the middle, and another drop. Okay, Stafford, maybe I owe you an apology. Sure, both balls that were dropped could have been a little bit better thrown, but those are NFL throws. Those are NFL catches, and they are high school drops as Peebles Jones makes up for the two drops he's had with a touchdown. The Tigers made that look far too easy. wonder what, like, the record is for most, like, first drive touchdowns allowed is because we got to have ourselves a chance at that thing. Hayes on the return. He's obviously had some pretty good returns, but it's been a little while since we've seen that as he doesn't even get to the 20 this time. And Mr. Hendon Hooker, obviously not the best performance last week, but didn't turn the ball over, and that's definitely a start. Uh, we have definitely seen worse than that, so game managed his way to a victory. What can I say? I mean, if you ask me, which of course you're asking me, a win do be a win. And we get some really good blocks. Rodriguez... Nice little stiff arm. Gains about 11 or 12. I can't remember. Was Rodriguez injured last game? Like, for the game? I can't remember. Kind of why I said I can't remember the first time. All right, that's what the wide receivers look like. We're going to go for the run. As uh, they're going to be giving us a lot of room on the run. Stiff arm for Beatty, who gets about 15. We are getting some blocks. Obviously not the best D-line in the world, but still, even, even that's really surprising. Run the ball into a pretty big pile here, can't lie. Yeah, we kind of got ourselves in trouble, gained a yard. Rodriguez actually had a pretty good game last week. I'm not really thinking, not sure why I thought he got injured. Maybe he still did and he just put those up anyways. Oh, that's a bad play. I uh, tried to time it. Somebody get to him shorter, like not trying to run to him. That's, I tried to time it and I thought we had it and I just made a bad read. Not really a bad read, but bad timing. I think the read was right. I just had, I had to wait a second longer. Give it a second longer. That's, I mean, that would have been tough anyways. Pretty good jump by Barton, though. You know, I'm used to the, the player running right by that. And uh, Barton actually picked it up pretty easily. They're back in scoring position already. Oh, that could be picked. It is. Orgy gets it back for us. Tries to bounce it. Will. And the linebackers, maybe not going to get there. All the way down to the three. Justin Jefferson denying orgy of the end zone. I was to say, back-to-back -back weeks with a pick six, a long pick six from a linebacker, but unfortunately not going to happen there. Was that a miscommunication? I'm not really sure, but you can't really miscommunicate because the ball was where he stopped. I thought he was going to keep running. I don't know if we catch him if he does. I would love to get us on the board with a passing touchdown, but I don't know if that's going to happen here. And it's not going to happen, is it? Hendon Hooker throw away. I guess it's going to be a rushing touchdown. Let's suppose, speaking of rushing touchdowns, Hendon did have a rushing touchdown last week as well, so it's not like he only had one touchdown passing. And we're going to cut it back. It was so free. And Rodriguez runs over number 26 himself to tie up the game. We had two drives. It's tied up. And we have zero passing yards. That is something. Zero completions. He's going to take the shot here, and Jefferson's not going to be able to make the play. Pretty good coverage by Jones. Given a lot of cushion there, so, I mean, unless you see it's press, probably not a good idea just to throw it. I guess Jefferson is great at catching the ball, but it's definitely not a freebie. And I don't know what. We just fell down. We just dove at air. Jefferson over the middle for the big first down. Does he actually do the McGriddle every, uh, like, every first down? Surely it's only, like, for touchdowns, no? Wow, wide open for the tight end. To the 38. Man coverage was kind of doing us right, so, uh... Maybe we go back... Oh, Lord, I switched the wrong guy. Short out. There... What are these refs seeing week to week? In what world is that pass interference? 
on the offense, maybe? Like, that's perfect defense. It's getting wild on these streets. Where is this P.I.? I mean, oh, did he miss? Did he miss the ball? Wait, I'm so confused. I I clearly went for the ball, and we I guess we missed. So the DB missed the ball and just swatted at his arms. Just basically assaulted him. It had nothing to do with the play at all. And we bumped the hell out of that guy. Strip attempt to the 27-yard line. Kate Otten for five. I'm going to need Hicks over there a little bit, because if that's a streak from... Uh, Jefferson, good blocks, first down. That's a touchdown. I mean, just throw that top left and it's GG. Weatherford on the blitz. And I thought that was a run. That faked me out hard. Kate Naughton not only catching the sideline, but getting upfield yet again. Gains five to six. I really thought maybe he gets three there and he catches it and turns up. I'm a little surprised. Of course, no pressure as we expected. Good timing from Stafford and they switch him to the wrong guy, but it's a first down to the nine. A hard spot to score from, though, is obviously it's almost the max yards away from the end zone while not having a first down to try and gain. Free blitzer. And Jefferson tries to get the ball out. Does uh, Mr. Jones doesn't do it. And that will be another touchdown for the Tigers. Justin Jefferson on that celebration, though, throwing out McGriddle for a, uh, for a violin. <laughs> Someone's going to be like... Eat. You really think it's called McGriddle? Unfortunately, no passing touchdown, but a touchdown nonetheless. Let's try to get a completion on the board. That'd be kind of cool. I thought for a second we weren't going to, and even though we do, kind of gave up some yardage. They're going to count him down where he first caught up, but I'm going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't really agree with that. We'll take it. We will absolutely run with it, but I don't know if I agree with it. Koontz. A little behind him, but did try to avoid the safety, so that might have been my fault. Try to lead him more middle than to that left side, where he should be rather than where he was going, which, I mean, I think in the in the end, it worked out. It was the smart call. Shorter. There's nobody on him, so I'm not going to feel bad about going short when nobody's there. Should also show you guys the sliders in case you're curious. Let's run to that right side, which we're not going to have any blocks for, and that was about as easy as you're going to get from Demario Davis. We got the outs. Let's see what we're cooking with. And we're in trouble. There's, I mean, maybe Koontz, but realistically, that was just a, a dead play. Nobody got open. Man coverage, and they covered the out uh, perfectly. Statistically, the Tigers have a lot more going for themselves than us, but the stat line, the score line at least, is very similar. I do like Shorter's leverage, but I think that outside corner is going to drop back inside. So we're going to go with Beatty and try to get enough for the field goal on this screen pass. Nice moves. That'll definitely guarantee it. Huge hit, though. I guess I shouldn't have used the words guarantee it because that fumble could have happened, but that juke move definitely puts us in a lot better spot for this field goal, whereas if he doesn't get it, I maybe do punt. Perfect kick. Up and good. We'll cut it to four. All right. Najee Harris manned up with Jones. Try to hit him. Does hit really hard. Jefferson gets four, but that's a big pop. All right. Here we got Ika. Full rush, not going to happen. Outside, wide open. Barely gets the feet down. Stafford needs to keep that in a little bit because people Jones try to try to cut up field and would have had a chance if his quarterback didn't miss him that hard. Trying to stop the run. It's not a run that needs to be stopped. And good tackle by Jones. And once again, Jefferson is eating us alive. That was an interesting move. Went right through the booty. It's like I feel like every play is a damn run, but none of them are. This time it is, though. Safety comes up with teamwork. They only get three. Good stop. Sometimes, you know, takes a little bit of teamwork. Takes a village to tackle Najee Harris. That is not a good thing. Just trying to slow him down as much as we can because there was really no support. Missed it by an inch with Jones. Stafford really led that ball out there, and the O-line was there to help. Good job by, I think it was Hicks, to to be out there enough to make sure that they weren't just going to score on that convoy. Just couldn't really, like, block him. I don't know why we're trying to pick that ball off. That's my fault. Good tackle. But you couldn't really uh, block the DB because we had our back towards him waiting for him to come up to us. If you block us, that's a block in the back. So sacrificing one's backside for the greater good. So Kim K did. Uh, we missed the tackle. Najee fighting. Down to the seven. Second to three. I mean, this is this is pretty free. 
Stafford is slinging. First down. No, he dropped it. Ika also injured, which is our big run stopper. That is not good. It looked like a, the end of a broomstick. It was just like stuck. Switch me to the wrong guy. To the outside. I don't know why. Oh, it's going to be short, though. Goodrich not really running through that play. Bruce turned him out for the game. They're going to get the field goal here. I know they feel pretty good about themselves, but at the same time, two yards against us doesn't really seem like the hardest, but I just suppose they had two plays to get three, and they couldn't do it. Got one on that. All right, let's go with the play action. I think this would be pretty good for uh, Kuntz. Try to set it up for Coons. I think it worked out. I think we I think we did the smart thing there. I wanted that comeback route, but the DB actually somehow stepped on both. You had the uh, the sideline route, and then you of course had the I, mean, I guess it's supposedly a sideline route as well, but the uh, comeback as well. They kind of jumped that. Oh, there goes Coons, and he's falling forward, landing on a guy to the 48. The size working out. Wait, the the. Announcer actually call him cunts. Is that actually his name? I just figured, you know, I would. Oh, there we go. Wide open lane. Tries to. Oh, nice backstep. Still going. Gains nine. I mean, personally, I would tell everyone, no matter what I had to, lie my life away before I uh, ever admitted that was actually how it was said. That's just personally me. Hendon. Oh, he tried. He gained a yard, though. He fought the whole damn team. He wants this job. And do you blame him? The Bison's quarterback job is the most sought-after job in the whole entire world. Pretty good throw again. Obviously, these are short throws. These aren't the hardest thing in the world, but we have seen him miss last week, and obviously he's he's put in a better uh, performance today. Not that there's, like, you know, a whole lot of toughness going on, but, hey, we could say that about last week. Oh, his own guy just took him out. I think Coons has that. I think he gets a big play out of that. Playing the quarterback position safe right now, but it's, for the most part, working. Not for that bump there. It's another big play. Definitely the biggest throw of the day. I need that guard to step up sooner because, you know, maybe we get away. Oh, John Michael Schmitz. We do not need anyone on this O-line getting injured. But if he comes up sooner, maybe we get away from, uh, I think it was Demario Davis, and we cut left. Third and six. Shorter. Oh, no. Oh, Wide open pick dropped and then almost caught after the deflection. I don't know how that pick's uh, not picked. Also, Cramps will return soon. 51 yarder for Ryland to uh, put us back to four. That'd be a 52 and a 51, and it's good. Tigers are just doing enough to hold us off. Keeping us at bay just enough to hold this lead. It's be a huge drive opportunity for them, though. And we kind of left it because Peoples Jones is. Uh, you know, with Jefferson has been the top two targets by far. Didn't really expect, I think, what appears to be their backup tight end to catch that ball. But we should be happy. We were insanely lucky to be able to come away with, oh, it's a really good find by Stafford. He's cooking, and so is Jefferson after the catch to get points there because that should have been picked. Hit as we're throwing and just went to the moon. I don't know how that's not picked. Especially on this difficulty, I didn't. I would never have expected that. It could have been the worst, like a DT. I expect to catch that on these sliders. Curl route. Tried to go for the pick. Didn't give it to me and then just went straight into the hit. Stafford thought it was man up. No help. Instead, it was not any of that. Orgy already has a pick. Trying to go for another one. Oh, I knew it. Oh, picked off. No. We are selling our interceptions too. Let's go with a blitz. And not going to get there, but dropped. By Peoples Jones, who has been so inconsistent today. Long field goal attempt, not going to be taken. Field goal is uh, gone. Punt is in. Of course, I don't think we're going to be able to turn this into anything, but we'll see. To the 16, pretty bad punt. I kind of felt like they were going to waste this clock down a lot more than this, so I guess we'll, uh, we'll take a chance. Underneath, and Cobb outrunning everybody. Gets out of bounds to the 33. Short in again. Koontz actually caught one earlier on this one. Demario this time. Gonna leave him again, actually. And Koontz slips away! 67-yard touchdown. Hop, skipping, and a jump in into the end zone. Blown play by the DBs who both try to tackle him at the same time and 
kind of, you know, the the force kind of exerted into one another in a way, sort of. And Kuntz is a tough guy to bring down. Unbelievable. Let's see if we can get some pressure. Not going to happen. Short throw. We're on that easily. They're going to call a timeout. I don't know if they feel it slipping away a little bit. Obviously, we have the lead now. But from the 22-yard line. And he's going to take that shot. Try to knock it out and throwing it to Peoples Jones. I mean, you probably don't even have to do much. You could probably just leave him one on one and he'll just do that on his own. All right, they might actually go for the run now because they're like, yeah, our opportunities have kind of gone away. Let's not give them another chance. And I suppose they are giving us another chance. Koontz made a big play out of nothing, so why not do it again? We'll give it a look, but I don't want to do too much if it's not there. And that will end the half. <laughs> was going to look at Cobb, maybe Goons there, but I uh, got the blitz instantly. Hey, Hooker, what are you doing? You're going to get yourself assaulted. We'll take the three-point lead into half. 20-17, to 17, the Tigers are kind of controlling it for a long time, and mistakes after mistakes after mistakes, which is just how really the season has gone for our opponents, where, you know, sure, we have five losses, but we could have had all eight, but... We take our opportunities when they're there and make the most of them. And so far, that's that's another story in this one as we are leading by three in a game where it feels like they're always open. They're dropping passes, throwing bad balls, and here we are. But halftime, obviously, the orbits over the Armadillos and a close one, both five and four. Pretty big game there, obviously. Five and four with... Uh, that scoreline, Elks versus the Blues, or the Antlers versus the Blues. Antlers getting smoked 21-0 about at halftime. Obviously, the Blues look very good with that record. The Thunderbirds versus the Elks, and the Elks win by 7. Now putting them at 7-3 and three in our division, unfortunately. And it uh, wasn't even a pretty game, but it was enough to win. It's all that matters. doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you win the game. Hooker. Right before uh, halftime, we've seen that one. Koontz, I mean, he's just making plays for us. He is by far our best playmaker. Obviously, Rodriguez is amazing too, but being able to do that, that was a really good jump, actually. He got the foot behind the line, and, and everything was great. We do also get the ball to start the second half, which is pretty nice. Hayes, a little bit better of a return, kind of a horse collar-ish tackle. To the 28, to this play action is the start. You would think we would play it safe to start. That's why I'm going for it. Pretty good throw. And caught by uh, Bell to the 39. Want to get him involved more, but it is tough. He's covered more often than not. We're going to be handing this thing off inside to Rodriguez, who actually gets a nice set of blocks, bounces it out, gets another block, stiff arm all the way down to the 30. Perfectly picked up blocks. Bell on that RPO. I don't know if we're actually going to see him, though. And he does not drop off. Rodriguez gains three. Rodriguez really is a superstar in the making. Well, technically, already is a superstar. Play action. Nobody on Shorter. Perfect throw. Shorter outruns the whole defense. What are the Tigers doing? There is nobody on him. There, I mean, there's just nobody on him at all. They aren't even close. Like, where is the coverage? Like, there's nobody within, like, 10 yards of him any side. Hooker having a definite better week this week. I doubt we're getting anything user, but let's let's try Malone user off the edge. And I try to go for the pick. Didn't give it to me. Donovan Peoples-Jones catches it and does his signature spin move, apparently. From the 40-yard line, going to be a handoff. Damn, he uh, accelerated a lot quicker than I thought he was going to. Great tackle. Gain six, though. Malone off the edge. Trying to get in there. Try to swat it. It's going to be picked! Hayes to the 49. I'm not sure what he's seeing there. Maybe try to get it over him and just didn't. Stretch to the right. Nice stiff arm. Tried to cut spin. Uh, didn't happen. One yard. Wide receiver cross. Got the zig from Cobb. Quick out from Koontz. Oh, why is he going that way anyways? Waited so long for him to get out. Could be coming with a blitz here. You gotta get rid of it quick if it is. And I couldn't get it off. But they're gonna call a face mask. Oh, what a bad break. Unbelievable scenes. We were dead. Dead to rights. Nowhere to go. And he takes us down by the face mask. 
It's not a bad call either. It's I mean, it's legit. Defense with an opportunity there and just blew it. Let's go with the crack toss. The toss play actually working. Okay. Great cut inside. Gets the stiff truck. Gains 10. Jet sweep with Cobb. I don't see how this goes well for us, but let's try it anyways. Oh, it actually works. Look at Cobb. Nice spin. Gain. Oh, he fumbled. He did, in fact, die. It was a great spin and, you know, play after the, you know, grab. But, yeah, he uh, he definitely coughed that one up. That is a hit. That ball is out. Although, is it out? It is. Okay. <laughs> it looked like it might have been down. It was kind of close. Big opportunity for them to uh, to stop the game for me and maybe won on that drive. There goes People's Jones slipping off. A little bit of man coverage. Did a good job with Malone there, but of course, Najee making it happen. I'm actually kind of glad that we uh, got in there, pushed him forward, because second and one, that's that's much better for them than a first and ten. Let's be real. Let's get a blitz with Jones. Quick throw in between. Try to hit stick. Miss. Jefferson gains 20. Don't say it's over. Switched me the wrong guy, kind of. I kind of went late, and that is open. Holds on all the way down to the 16. Weatherford in good coverage, but Otten was just an open enough. Uh, we're kind of kind of need somebody inside a little bit more. And that's a quick throw underneath. And once again, another drop by uh, Peoples Jones. Press man, playing over top just because I I don't don't trust the streak. And I don't know what the hell happened there. Thankfully, it wasn't called PI. It just kind of felt like. They got tangled up. Blitz off that right side. It's going to be a lot to cover for Jones here. Back of the end zone. That is a throw, but swatted by Smoke Monday. That'll be a field goal attempt. Kind of impressed. I thought that was a touchdown. Just wasn't enough room to operate. Not going to get there, and it will be back down to seven. He's on the return. Try to cut it back. It's upended and slammed. I don't want to jinx anything, but I don't know why. I just feel like the Tigers are like, they're finally back into this. They're, they're kind of feeling like they are in a good spot to, to come back. I don't really like this run look. Ah, tight end was probably more open. Good cut move, though. Try to make something happen. Gains four. Could have been a loss of two. Gained four. What can I say? It might be time to give out some proper uh, captain's badges next week. Be kind of all over the place because there's really not been like one guy that's deserved the badge over anyone else. Maybe Cobb actually because he's putting in some work this season for a veteran, like an old veteran. I know he fumbled, but you know, what can you do? That's a dangerous one. Holds on, though. Tough one. Four yards. Got to say, though, Hooker has played really well this game. Last week, couldn't trust him to make any throw. This week, kind of hitting everything. Although in some trouble on this one. Throw it away. Barely going to get that one out. Thought maybe we could make something happen there. And now nah, we just ran out of time. Highsmith all over that one. Five wide. Kind of a ban in the run because, I mean, the pass game has kind of looked really good. And I'm not going to get it. Maybe I had Coons. Thought I had Beatty off the snap, but I couldn't tell if that slot corner was going to get there. Kind of, I kind of stuck my reads to like two players, and uh, they actually got in there pretty quickly. Nah, I don't think I had a read. Maybe Cobb on that other side. Is that Cobb? Yeah, Cobb. Randall Cobb, maybe. But here, this is my thought process. In case you want to like get into my head a little bit, cornerback goes outside. I see the outside shade. I'm thinking he's covering that that zig. All right. I see the corner on Shorter. Shorter's not a very good route runner. It's going to be hard for him to win that. We wouldn't have had the time anyways. Koontz, I see the uh, the cornerback or the linebacker kind on him. The DB's on both, and I feel like the throw to Beatty is a little long. I don't know, dude. I think they played this really well. Maybe a quick throw to Koontz or Beatty, but there was nothing free. And they actually get a decent return on the punt, apparently. To the 27-yard line they go. A little bit more to the middle of the field for Monday. I'll turn around. Turn back around. As Najee falls forward for eight. I feel like this could have been a little bit of a different game, too, if they actually started running the ball with their running back, which it kind of seemed like they're going to do now, so maybe I spoke too soon. Ah. 
Yeah, I wanted to dive. I just know that the game isn't very good with interception animations for linebackers. I was like, I'm going to knock this down. I'm going to get my hand on this. No, I'll just dive at the ground. Why not? Why would I want to go for the ball? Can't get out there. And I guess he runs into us when we make the tackle. But five yards is five yards. To the fourth quarter, anybody's game. As uh, we have not as many yards as them. But they do have more plays than us. And we have more points. Seven up with hooks. Hooks. Hicks. Quick out. Can't get out there. And perfectly blocked. Almost blasted Weatherford there. Who's making the tackle. Gains about eight. Uh, let's move him over a little bit. Let's go Doug Cawson. I knew it. I tried to swat. Couldn't do it. Great hit on Najee who from time to time can hurdle. So got to be careful with that. I'm surprised he hasn't hurdled with how low we're going. No. That's a quick throw to the outside. Goes down for five. All right, let's go with Hayes on uh, Noah Brown. Pretty good coverage. Not a great throw over to Otten. i got to say, Goodrich has been pretty decent. Let's go back to Hayes. We actually did a pretty good job on Noah. I knew it. Bad throw, but Jefferson adjusts. Maybe just try to avoid that linebacker. Get the first down instead of going for it all for the touchdown. All right, I was going to go with a blitz. Um, can I get over to Weatherford, who's barely going to get to this tight end? Not that it matters. They go to the other tight end anyways. Otten, touchdown. They hit the extra point. The Tigers have made the comeback. This read option did not work last time. And with this many players up to the line, I think you uh, throw this ball. Set the feet. Went for the possession. Got the first down. Good job. Ooh, the shovel option, though. This is interesting. I mean, Hooker's got enough speed to be running this kind of stuff. And now he's injured. Why? Why would he talk it? There's no way, bro. One triple option? I mean, you would have thought I could see the future because I talked about you never know with Sean Clifford, and yet here's Sean Clifford, everyone. And that's just uh, kind of dan and not dangerous, but in no man's land. What kind of injury we're looking at here? Abdominal tear. You've got to be joking. I've never had this many quarterbacks get injured in any sort of, like, scenario ever. There goes Beatty saving the day, though. And look at the block! Bell cooking! Demario on the chase down Clifford for 26 to Beatty. That one throw power to Clifford. Maybe it was all the difference. And he's open. Cobb. Good throw. Cobb! All the way down to the 8. Two plays for 54. Not going to go read option this time because we're running out of QBs. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, the timing. I don't think it was perfect, but the ball was not. Don't push him. Koontz to the end zone, maybe. And overthrows him again. Especially after that first miss, maybe I should have tried more on the ground. Timing. Drop by Cobb. That's a good throw this time, but drop by Cobb, and that will be a field goal. Kicking it with half power, no block, and a three-point lead with six minutes left. This series so far has been absolute chaos. I just stepped out. Couldn't get over to him. Stafford kind of left him. Trying to do too much there. Maybe should have just stayed over there. But hey, the force in the throwaway is a win. Switch the wrong guy. Malone getting a little bit of a push underneath, and I try to go for a strip. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm just dumb. Sure, I live and die by the strip, but I mainly die. So in that situation, pretty stupid. Could be a run to the left. Got to contain that edge. That's why. Covered him with the booty cheeks. Takeaway rank on the season, five. Got two today, which have been pretty significant. Got all the way to the three and then ran it in with Rodriguez, I believe, on one of them. Other one took away points, I believe, as well. I suppose all interceptions do. Free rush. Double free rush. And that's going to be an eight-yard sack. Nobody on him. I don't know how you leave someone that unblocked. Uh, Malone trying to get in there. Over the middle. Who else? Good try on the tackle. Spins out of it to the 46. Clutch play. Deep in for the exact yardage they need. 142 yards through 10 catches. He's unguardable. 
But I don't know what I can do. I can't just double team him, can I? The tackle. I just double team him. You know what I mean. No safety help over him. Pretty much had a safety uh, stacked up the whole game. And sure, the out route might be open, but that's not really the route they're going. They're going inside. And we're trying to get out there, but Najee finds a way. Missed the tackle. Wooden can't get him. Outside. Holy crap. Now Smoke Monday's injured. We are getting tossed around here on this drive. Not in a good way. Try to swat. I thought the time it was there. And we might have had the pick. I didn't know the ball was going to be that flat. It's Stafford. I thought he had the touchdown. I thought we were going to be lucky to even get a chance at the get. And uh, he actually had a potential chance at picking it, like I said. Oh, good job, Weatherford, because I over-pursued a little. Are they playing for the field goal here? Elbow sprain, that'll be fine. But they do realize we can go for the lead, right? And behind the defense. Jefferson to the three. That might have been my fault. I may have accidentally uh, changed his zone. Because I was trying to switch the linebacker, just put him in a, uh, a f uh, blitz and then user him. And up the middle, Najee gets denied by Jones. I'm pretty sure that makes it where the pass rush is a little bit better. Going to go for another run, it looks like. I don't see how they're going to score on this, though. Pitch play. Outside can't get there. Najee loses a billion. I guess we provide. We want the time more than the timeouts. I think it makes more sense. I'm not going to run it. We have too many to cover. Picked! Weatherford could do it again! Stafford read like a book. And Weatherford's back. Baited out. Pick six. Game has been called. It was really anyone's game, and Stafford did a Stafford. Even though he's actually really clutch, but not today. Back of the end zone. Picked again! Don't know why I tried to pitch it. Oh, it worked, though. This, that's what comes into my mind when I think, uh, you know, pitch the ball when you're about to get tackled. That. And it actually worked. Don't know how many yards we gained, but, man, Stafford with these interceptions. We're not a great team. We're not even a good defense. But we take the ball away, and we give opportunities to the offense. Oh, there goes Rodriguez. They're trying to do too much with the strip. I mean, I guess that's really their kind of only chance, in fairness, but still. Going to go with the play action. They're going to be coming in hard with this run defense, and I think the quick throw to the running back should be open, which it is. Rodriguez takes a bit of a hit to gain eight. Not that we really need it, but a first down would guarantee the game is over. And great uh, cutting in there. Apparently short, but we'll get that now in this play. We're going to improve to four and five. And Rodriguez all the way to the five-yard line, speaking of. Not going to get to 100 yet again for back-to-back -back weeks, but another great game nonetheless, so we'll take it. Sean Clifford, though, coming in. The absolute goon barely lost a step. And we win the game. Obviously, the defense was unbelievable. Several interceptions, uh, several of them taken back either to the house or very damn close to it, setting up free points. And, of course, the Oakland Tigers are going to go down 27-37. They don't have a bad team. I don't know what's wrong with them, though. Donovan Peoples-Jones with probably a record high drops amount. Uh, I'm really curious to see what that number looks like, to be honest. Uh, where are the drops? Four. Four drops. That is really bad. Koontz clutched up, as usual. Cobb was pretty good. Beatty was pretty good. Shorter had a big play. Uh, offense? It's not the offense, man. It's the defense. Short fields with these turnovers. Blown opportunities from the other side, and uh, we are making the most of it every time. And we do have a couple upgrades. Uh, Hayes, who's actually been amazing for us. Very good in coverage, and uh, on top of it, a pretty damn good special teamer. Two to man coverage. 71 man coverage now. Shorter. Like I said, release is kind of the big issue for this team, but he's actually pretty good across the board. We're going to go with physical anyways, though. Try to get him over 70 for release, and Help his short route game anyways, and that's pretty much exactly what happens. Uh, he ends up with one to spec, one to, or two to catch in traffic, which now puts him at 79 catch in traffic. He's actually not half bad as a kind of possession receiver. And then Lindstrom is a backup center, so not the big of a deal. 
One new injury, though. Our quarterback out for four weeks or three games with an abdominal tear. I actually can't believe our luck with quarterbacks. Like, this is ridiculous. Two uh, quarterbacks injured for basically a month each. One of them we just traded for, too, and he really started to heat up. This game was definitely a really good one from him. Anyways, though, it's just how the cookie crumbles. Uh, of course, you guys want to see the sliders we're rocking with on all Madden. I've tried 50. You know, we were at 50, and uh, we started winning games by a decent bit, and I was like, okay, let's... Well, not winning by a bit, decent bit, but, you know, the, the scores were getting a little high, and I was like, okay, let's try to lower our, our ratings a little bit. We're still playing really well. I simply just don't know how to get it to where the DBs play like their overalls. It just seems like coverage is tight all the time, no matter which side you're on. And uh, I just want the players to play like their overalls. I don't know what sliders it takes to do that, but that's all I want. I want the bad quarterbacks to throw bad. I want the bad line to block bad. I mean, we had in our Texans franchise where we had zero run block and our pass block started to get that low by the end of the series. And we still were cooking. Anyways, you guys enjoyed this one. Maybe leave a like. Like I said, 200 likes and get another episode tomorrow. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second Jumpy Care plays for now, man, content. Might be a Spider Man 2 episode up later today. If not tomorrow, but probably today. And uh, yeah, if you're not new, I do appreciate your continued support on the channel. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for the next video. But until next video, see.